everybody and welcome back to some more Planet Coaster. Today's gonna be a little bit different. You may notice this is not a time lapse. What's going on here, seat up? As it's true, we're gonna be doing a real-time video today, cause why not? I need to do something to mix up recording this game since I'm getting so incredibly bored with it. But I thought we'd just do a quick fly through of the parks. We got the main entrance way here with the uh, couple buildings, Chief Beef. I had to shut those down because they were gathering too many crowds right here, so they're kind of just empty buildings right now. We got our nice little Mediterranean section with the Andiamo coaster right over there. I still love this section. I think it's one of my favorites. It's pretty plain, but has a pretty nice theming going on. Chop Drop, I extended the queue right over here, made it a little bit longer. Oh man, people love Chop Drop. Definitely shouldn't have to put this so close to the entrance. People are freaking out over it. Added a new bridge over here, just kind of... I don't know, give us uh, some interesting uh, pathways over by the coaster. We can watch to do some loop de loops. Whee! There they go. Flying back over here, we got this bad boy. The chair swing, nothing too crazy. Uh, we've got our Egyptian area over here. It's a little, it's a little popular. You know, it's not too crazy. I added some more coaster cars to the coaster, so all good in the hood. Why oh, have all these shut down? Okay, whatever. I'll fix that later. No, you know what? We'll fix it now. Okay. Yeah, sometimes my employees just quit because, you know, they're, they're dinguses. And they're like, hey, we're gonna quit. <laughs> Freaking jerks. There you go. Get rid of the UI. You can do that by doing left, control, shift, and G. That's something new I learned. We got Cormac Caverns way down here. Down we go. Wee. Oh, I do love this place. This is one of my favorite sections in the park. People love the coaster, man. They're just streaming over to it. Nobody even riding. No, oh, you got a couple people going over to the Ferris wheel. I know the Ferris wheel. Merry-go-round. I always do that, man. I always call Ferris wheels merry-go-rounds and merry-go-rounds Ferris wheels. I don't know what's wrong with me, all right? And back up top, we got the Winter Wonderland. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful with that thing? And then the uh, the Candyland ride, which people are still obsessed with. And then after that, there's like no one going over here. Oh, we got a couple people. All right. That's not bad, I'll take it. Going over to the shops. I mean, there's a lot of shops and stuff here. Oh, this one closed too. Swear to God, everything's closing. I keep having to come back over and open these. Can I just pay my employees like a million dollars a year to work at a theme park and then they'll just stay forever? I really haven't messed with the management stuff, like, at all. There's the uh, Frozen Lake ride. And then we got a zip way over here. Still eventually gonna do something here so we can actually see this coaster go by. Hey, it's perfect timing. So that's the uh, underground coaster in Cormac Caverns. Kind of peaks up a little bit. We'll do something cool there. Look at all these balloons, man. People are just funneling over here because there's a balloon shop. And then we got the Hanzo and Genji coasters right there. That looks pretty nice. Oh, we got the test flight coaster. Kind of zipping by. Nobody goes on this. Entirely too terrifying. We got Stingray Bay over here. Looking pretty nice. And then we're basically back to where we were. So let's head back over. We're going to be finishing up this guy today. Uh, the jungle coaster, the jungle temple coaster thing. Gonna be planting a lot of trees. Let's see, I think it actually broke down. So we can get a nice look at the inside here. Looks very, very, very pretty. Pretty sure it's, it's broken down. That's why there's no one here yet. Hurry up and fix it, you jerks. What I want to start with is doing some detailing along the actual coaster path. So we basically have this uh, exit here. We're gonna do some more work inside here. Try and make it a little bit more overgrown looking. Kind of matching the other parts of the park that we have done. Uh, we're basically just gonna, yeah, completely cover this thing with uh, some vines. Would be nice if I could just take this whole row and copy and paste them. Yeah, we'll just cover the whole, at least the first half. I don't know. I might actually remove the second layer because I think it's too tall in here. I think it would be better if it was a bit of more of a narrow tunnel, height-wise, a bit more of a shorter tunnel, I guess. There we go. Okay, so yeah. So what if I took all that? So just grab all that. Get it out of there. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay. And then we just take these guys. People have been asking about the copy and pasting thing. You basically just, uh, like, I want to click this. Click, control, click, and then control D. And it moves that up there. And then you just hold shift to move it up and down. I've done uh, whole videos on tutorial or on uh, controls in this game. So if you are lost, definitely check out my control tutorial I did a couple months ago. It will probably help you. You know, I hope this isn't too low. Not realizing that. All right, let's just load it up with people real quick and make sure they don't crack their heads. I don't think they will. There they go. Oh man, that's close. <laughs> All right, so as long as I don't go on this ride, they'll be fine. Because I would definitely hit my head on that. 
I'm just gonna add some more stuff on top and on the outsides just to make it more overgrown looking and there and then we've got our bushes to add all along the outside and then probably on the inside track as well there we go that's looking decent but I do want to add some lighting in there so let's go ahead and head over here grab some lights I was thinking maybe those standing torches oh wait there was some scenery I always get confused <laughs> even though I should know at this point where these things are it's a little confusing. We could do skull lamp posts. I don't really like those. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take these and we're gonna lower them down like that and just kind of scatter them in through here, kind of alternating on other sides of the track. I think that'll be good. We go switch to nighttime and light them up. There they go. Looks good. Yeah, I think that's nice. And for over here, I'm gonna take one, two, three, four, five of these, chop these off since we ended up changing the height of it. And then we're gonna grab. Uh, one, two, three, four, five of these. Take this, copy and paste it over to this side. And oh no, it's the stupid bushes are going to be in the way. Oh wait, nope, is that, nope, 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 dang it. Oh wait, it's too high. That's why. Possibly. Come on! Let me do it. Okay, fine. You know what, we'll go the other way. We'll take just like a vertical slice. There's two of them. Still bushes still in the way. Fine. I guess we'll just undo that <laughs> and redo the whole thing. There we go, entrance and exit is basically done there. Over here I thought it would be nice to maybe put a small hill and have this be a tunnel going through it. So we're going to grab this stuff. We're just going to pull it over this part. Okay. And make it like a small hill out of it, kind of drape it over that. There. And then we're going to put a lot of like, skull stuff in there, kind of like, I don't know, if this is like a torture chamber or a graveyard or something. That was the kind of idea there, so we need a smaller one in here, and we're just going to push this out from the inside. Just maybe this big bend here will make something interesting to look at in this space. Basically going to put a platform right there, and then we need our sandstone walls. Where are those ads going? There we go, alright. Pop those right there. Hopefully they'll fit. Yep. Fit right underneath them. No, I want them on that plane. Thank you. There and there and there. Should we go? Then we got to go to the other side. Pull off them on. So I'm going to put like those uh, hanging skeletons in here. I think those look nice. Maybe like this is like a sacrificial chamber or something. Uh, we got to continue this back here. Make sure it's flush with the ground. There we go. All right. Well, let's grab... Do, 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 do. We need some lights in here first. Actually, no, let's do the other stuff first. So, uh, where is that skeleton? There he is. Okay, we'll just plop these guys around here. Boop, boop, boop. They're all, they're all apparently left-handed. <laughs> Don't know why. Okay, now we need the rest of the skulls. Let's see, S-K-U-L. Uh, da, da, da. It takes a while to sort through it. There they are, okay. Ooh, these ones actually glow. Those are pretty cool. Let's do that. And then I'm gonna do a little trick here where I sink these into the ground and then just scatter them around so it looks like just piles of skeletons everywhere. So hopefully it stops them from all looking exactly the same. Let's sink that even lower. There we go. Yeah, so that'll basically work. Just gonna kind of fill this up with skeletons. There we go. I think that's good. Let's see how this looks at nighttime. We'll see how much light these things actually give off. Alright, so that's pretty spooky if you ask me. Oh, there's just skeletons everywhere. I think it looks good. And then maybe... Hmm... I want to put an actual structure there or just leave it like the tunnel. Let's try something. I think something simple just like that helps. Kind of gives it a bit more of a structure. Let's put some over here. And then we will need to uh, actually edit this. Double up. Is that going all the way up? Is it? No, no, it's not. All right. And I hate these sort of bumpy artifacts you get when you raise uh, paths or when you raise terrain over a path. So, we're gonna go ahead and try and smooth that out. That ah, looks better. Alright, actually we might go ahead and roughen that. And push it a little bit, just to give it a little bit more variation. Alright, that works. And we're gonna make it nice and overgrown in here as well. Just add a whole bunch of bushes and stuff. I mean, it's gonna be a lot of vegetation in this uh, part of the park. Or in this roller coaster theming. Alright, I think the inside here is basically done. We got a whole bunch of skeletons, a bunch of bushes. There we go. Nice and easy. I'm going to do some more train work around here to make this a little bit more interesting. Like maybe raise this up. Just make it a little bit less flat. Because we are going to basically cover all of this with vegetation. So it will be nice to uh, see some terrain differences in there as well. Like we can probably raise this up. 
make a little hill underneath that part. Over here, we're going to make a big old hill, have that actually go through a tunnel there, and have this kind of up on top of the hill. Just got to smooth out the side so it doesn't look quite as fat and dumb. There we go, and then right here, we're going to have a big old hill. That this is kind of going around, going to shrink that down, pull it up. I'm going to pull up the uh, sides. There we go, just to make it a little bit smoother. Ah, it looks bad. Ah, it looks bad. Uh, instead, here we're going to do... I'm just going to push that back down. You'll get back down there, your silly hill. And then roughen it all up. Well, I think uh, the, the, the roughen tool I like is it definitely things, makes things feel a little bit more natural rather than just perfectly round. I think that works pretty well. And then before we start doing the landscape with the trees and all that nonsense, let's go ahead and do uh, maybe some water features around here. I think that'll be nice. Push it down. Uh, people mentioned like a waterfall would be cool in this area, so I'm trying to find a nice area for that. Maybe we can make like a little pond with a waterfall that the kosher kind of passes by. Or here would be nice, but that's kind of too close to that section. Hmm. Let's see, what if we sink down here, kind of in between these cliffs? Oh no, there's that's there. Crap. <laughs> okay. Can't do that much. Just pull that up. Pull, pull. Let's see, can we put some water in here? It's right there. That's not bad. Yeah, so this will be good. When you're going up the chain lift, you'll probably be able to see this. So let's go ahead and grab some water effects. Where are they? Water, water, water. Just about these the ones I want. Large. Uh, yeah, we'll just probably have to stagger these out throughout here. Just to make them look like a real waterfall. So let's raise them up. There you go. That looks halfway decent. And we got to take some rocks and put them up there. That's kind of my go-to way of... Where the hell am I going? There we go. <laughs> Making waterfalls look a little better. Uh, da -da, big old rocks up here. So kind of maybe you can imagine like an underground uh, water spout or water system kind of extruding right there. That looks good. I still see that maybe up here and up here and coming up there. Ah, I like it. Looks good. I do want to add some more water features all throughout. So let's keep doing that. Push down. Maybe a nice one right here. Just expand that out. Trying to make it a little bit more of a shape instead of just being perfectly round. There we go. Alright, looks good. And before we do the whole outside, I do want to finish enclosing this, so... Yeah, let's actually... I'm not going to do too much in here, because I don't really care about the exit queue that much, so we're just going to do some torches up on the walls. I can't really get down. I think these are facing the wrong way. There we go. Maybe a little higher. No, a lower work time. There we go. Just going to scatter these throughout here. And then close in the roof. And I'm thinking this queue probably needs to be a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and cut that off there. And then continue it through here. Let's change the length. Maybe go right along the water. No, I don't want that. Ah, stupid game. Alright, we're just going to pause it. Just because it's still... It's starting to lag a little bit since we've got so much stuff in this uh, park. And then maybe do like that. I think that'll be good. And then I'm basically just going to start laying out trees. We're going to pick uh, some good trees for our jungle. Oh, not really. So uh, these ones, maybe. I'm just going to lay some out and see, uh, see what we like. So definitely going to do some of those. Swamp tree. Yeah, I think that'll be good for the jungle. Sycamore. Maybe. going to do some palms. Hmm. Joshua tree. No. Douglas fir. Ash trees. No, they're not quite green enough. Acacia. Yeah, we'll probably do acacia trees. Okay, and beech tree and uh, birch. Don't really have too many options here today. Oh, we're just going to start the path here and start laying them out. I'm probably going to do bushes first since I do like... Oh, we'll probably do rocks first since I do like to start at the lowest layer. And then kind of build up from there. So we're just going to start laying some rocks around how I want. All willy-nilly. Kind of like around here, because I do like having rocks along the water. We'll probably have them scattered here along the path side, at least. Just a nice little feature. We're going to be using the, the deciduous rocks. Almost, almost said it wrong again. I don't know why. I have so much trouble with that word. Next, we're going to do some bushes. I do like these. Oh, I've never even looked at the name of these. Skyvola bushes. The little green bushes. We're going to do... I like doing these in clumps and then uh, randomizing the height. So I think they look good. All clumped together, and then maybe have a bunch of trees and palm trees or palm fronds protruding from them. That, that's how I like to use these ones. Moving on to the big forest bushes. I guess we'll use the green ones. They look a little bit 
more uh, jungly and rainforesty, if you ask me. Do these basically by themselves, sometimes pair them up in twos and threes. Again, changing the height definitely helps make them look like different bushes. I think that helps uh, break up just the, 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 the patterns you see when you just lay them all out. Now moving on to the trees. Gonna be doing the banana beach, or the banana palm trees, and then the short palms too. I kind of, like I've said before, I start at the lower levels with the rocks and the bushes and move up from there. Really like using a lot of these because they do look very jungly and rainforesty. Especially the banana trees, so we're gonna scatter them all throughout here. Um, for the rest of this part, like, uh, the part where the coaster goes, not gonna be doing as much dense detail. I will still be doing a lot of trees and stuff, but for, like, bushes and rocks stuff, you can see I'm mostly containing it, uh, to the visible areas. And I know acacia trees are more like, like, plains trees, but, uh, they're nice, big, and bushy, so I think they'll do well here. I'm gonna do a couple of these giant ones just to kind of cover the canopy, because I do love how much they extend this way. That really makes it feel kind of... Just like big and covering and uh, just it makes a nice canopy to walk under like it actually feels like it completely covers the guests So that's what I really like about them. And I guess I will use the beech trees I Haven't really used them too much in this park. They are really nice and green and kind of strange shapes So they'll, they'll fit in here pretty well. I think Let's see you can like squeeze them in there And I do like how some of these branches go out like that and kind of curl back So that'll look nice in this section basically just trying to use all of the green I can to cover in some of these areas but that actually hitting people on the path so like if I turn that one it might be too short there we go that one's better that there uh, that's actually put set further back so the leaves aren't in the other tree there and there all right it's starting to look pretty good over here you can barely see the ground that's what I like and then throughout this path I do want some lights so we got to figure out exactly which ones to use or I can make my own things like that Lights, let's see, these will be perfect. The candle torches. <laughs> That'll work great. Ooh, lantern chain. Ooh, lantern chains. Let's do that. I think these will look good for the outside. Ooh, actually, let's do skulls. Yeah, we don't really use these, and they kind of fit with the theme pretty well, so I'm gonna do my standard kind of serpentine pattern where I just crisscross different sides as we go along, make sure they're all facing the same way. Some over here, some over there. Gotta be careful because the terrain does change here. I mean, this path. <laughs> It's actually kind of wonky. It's a little crooked, but it's good. It's, it's okay. There you go. People are starting to funnel in, and we can go ahead and switch to us in night time. Uh, these, these give off, yeah, a little bit of light. I mean, they're not super bright. But it's looking good. I can dig it. People are kind of walking along the shore there. That actually looks pretty nice. I'm happy with how that came out. And they come along here, up into here, the spooky, scary hall with all the skulls. And this hallway is currently packed because everyone kind of had to disbark at the same time because I del completely deleted the queue that they were in. My bad, guys. Lights back on. And now we gotta start uh, treeing and bushing the rest of the area. So I'm gonna try and pick some critical points where people actually slow down a little bit and maybe do a bit more detail work around there. So like up here we'll do some bushes and stuff underneath. Um, yeah. And then some of these guys scattered around throughout there. Because I do like them. Trees! Where are those acacia trees? These I like. There we go. Oh wait, they're they're all they're all crooked. Okay, gotta put it over there, gotta hit V, turn off that angle. There we go, let's get the big one, like put it right there. Alright, I think that'll work. There we go, basically put all the acacia trees down that I need. Now we're just adding some banana trees. All throughout, just to make it a little bit more jungly. Oh, and I completely forgot to do regular palm trees. I might not do regular palm trees in this area, actually. Because those kind of fit more with our beach area, and so I do want to keep some sort of distinction. So we'll see how I feel. And then, final touch, just gonna add some torches in this guy. There and there. Just uh, something to zip by as the coaster passes through these little arch things. But there we are, I think we're basically done with this area. So we go in the queue here, get a nice view of the lake, and zip on through. Oh, did it break down again? Swear to God, people, why does this coaster keep freaking breaking down? Okay, that palm frond is clearly hit in the face, I'll move that. <laughs> Going through here, and back on the coaster. Uh, now I gotta wait to repair before we can do our final fly through. Hmm, this is an interesting bug, watch this, ready? Uh, waterfall behave normally, speed up, speed up again. And they turn the other way. 
go back to normal. That's weird. That's an interesting bug. Might need to report that one to Planet Coaster. <laughs> that is interesting to say the least. And I decided to add some colored lights down here. I think green looks nice just to make it a little bit more interesting when you're going in and out of the tunnels. Okay, I need to raise that up. Where the heck is my light? There it is. Sometimes I lose it in the underground. Well, there we go, guys. That is it for this episode of Planet Coaster. Definitely hit that like button if you enjoyed. Leave a comment. Leave something to let me know. I will see you next time. Enjoy your ride. Bye.